So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's it, YouTube? Damn, Zero Games bringing you a brand new legendary duelist, and that is Sisters of the Rose. Now, I did mention this in my first video of the year that kind of talked about the new sets coming out, and this is the first brand new set of 2019. Uh, you do get five cards per pack. There's 36 packs per box, one rare card in every pack. Uh, it has got brand new support for Harpy Ladies, Cyber Angels, uh, Lunar Lights, Trains, and Black Rose Plants. I believe there are, so it should say it here, there's 80 super rare cards a set and 9 ultra rares. You get 5 ultra rares and 7 super rares a box. I believe some ratios might change. Uh, there are 10 new rares and 29 common cards. And the common cards, 9 times out of 10, are reprints. Um, so Harpies are the chase cards in this set, in my opinion. Um, for the most people, that is where Perfumer comes in and Oracle comes in as well. Um, Oracle is super, Perfumer is the Ultra. That is probably the £30 Ultra Chase card of the set. So if you do pull that, that is your best card you're pulling. Uh, otherwise, if you do have interest in Trains, um, Cyber Angels, or any of the other cards like that, um, then you're going to be doing very, very well. I believe there are three Ultra Harpy cards, um, four Ultra Train cards, and two Ultra... Two ultra, two ultra plant cards. So there's no ultra cyber angels. The majority of the cyber angel cards are all uh, super. This set, I personally say, get singles yourself um, if you're interested in in one particular art type of this. Uh, if you're not interested in any of the art types, then do not bother um, because <clears throat> they retail for about a pound seventy-five a pack. Um, uh, the ultras, some of the ultras maintain a bit of value if they're wanted um, and hunted for. Which, like I said, it will be the Perfumer. Otherwise, there's not a huge amount of value in it. Um, it is a nice if you do want to pick up any of the decks because you pretty much get everything you need to make the deck as a reprint in here. So we've got Black Garden, we've got Lunar Light Blue Cat, we've got a common Black Rose Dragon, uh, Night Express Knight, and Dark Rose Fairy. So this is our first brand new card. Um, if a tuner or tuners is special summoned except during the damage set, special summon this card from your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Um, place this card on top or bottom of your deck. You can only use the effect once per turn. Um, so it's kind of like glow bulb, but not like glow bulb because you have to send it from the handle field. But it does let you recycle. The fact it's not a tuner is a bit disappointing, but still very, very good. So we're going to put all the plant stuff there. I'm going to put the rares, uh, supers, and all that over there. Uh, and then I'll put harpies and trains, uh, not harpies and trains, harpies and side range of stuff when we get it uh, to the side as well. I'll try and move the box out of the way. Uh, Snowplow Hustle Russell. So this did kind of increase in price, which is really, really weird. Um, but you got that as a reprint. Harpy Queen. So this was like a 20 quid card at one point as an ultra. So it's nice to get that reprint for everyone. Cyber Angel at day 10. Cyber Angel Eggs, which means we get a hollow. And we've got Frozen Rose. Now the artwork on this is actually amazing. Uh, I'll go over Cyber Angel Egg first, or Cyber Egg Angel. This is really, really cool. Uh, if this card is summoned, you can add one Machine Angel spell or one Ritual Sanctuary from your deck to your hand. Only use the effect once per turn. So it happens when it's summoned, so it's normal special summon, which is really, really good. You can summon it off of Ritual Sanctuary as well. Uh, and then it lets you search out a Machine Angel spell, so you can search out some of the new cards, or of course a Ritual Sanctuary. So that's very, very good. Frozen Rose. Uh, send one face up monster you control to the graveyard. Apply this effect depending on the type it had on the field. Plant. During the end phase of this turn, draw two cards and discard one card. Non plant. Add one level four or lower plant monster from your deck to your hand. Only use the effect once per turn. That's not bad, considering, in a way, if you could special summon a monster without using your normal summon, um, in, of course, uh, 60 card zombies, you can play this, send um, any monster that you special summon back to the graveyard, uh, sorry, send it to the graveyard, then you get to add out your um, Predator Plant Scorpio, or, of course, your uh, Lone Fire, and then if you can use your normal summon, you can push your plays further forward that way. I'm not saying that's how you'll use it, because, of course, it is a little bit slow, and you have to be able to get a monster on board without using your normal summon. But it's still very, very cool. Um, if it was special summon, a level 4 lower plant monster, that'd be sick. Anyway, Hyper Lady Sisters, Blue Rose Dragon, Cyber Angel Dakini, Ritual Sanctuary, and Lunalight Emerald Bird. So this is another one of the new Lunalight cards. Uh, if this card is normal or special summon, you send one Lunalight card from your hand to the graveyard. If you do draw one card. If this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, type one level 4 or lower 
Little like monster that is banished or in the graveyard except itself, especially when it in defense position, but it negates its effects. Only use the effects once per turn. I mean, this set is quite good for Lunalite players, Cyber Angel players, uh, and possibly Train players, maybe. Uh, I think it's just a bit harsh on Harpy players. I just really do think that that perfume is... The, the, the support isn't amazing, like, going to make the deck broken, but it still makes it very, very good. Uh, anyway, Constructed Train Signal Red, Harpy Queen, Mark of the Rose, uh, Magnificent Machine Angel, and we got another Hollow, which is Merciful Machine Angel. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, we'll start with the rare. Tribute 1 Cyber Angel, Ritual Monster from your hand or field, then type 1 Light Fairy Monster you control. It gains attack and defense equal to the level of that monster had when it was tributed times 200 until the end of this turn. This turn, if it battles an opponent's monster that was special shown from the extra deck, that opponent's monster's effects are negated during that battle phase only. You can, act you can only activate one Magnificent Machine Angel per turn. So it's quite nice, it can get past Borrow Load and stuff like that, I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, and then the foil is tribute one side range or ritual monster from your hand or field, draw two cards, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. The rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special on monsters except ritual monsters, only activate one per turn. So it's an okay kind of draw card, but it's the, if it was tribute and draw two, then it would have been better, but it has to have that drawback, otherwise it's busted. Uh, Machine Angel Ritual, Cyber Angel Dakini, Harpy Queen, Harpy Lady, Phoenix Formation, and Loonlight Yellow. Martin, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can type one Loonlight card. Um, you control accept itself, return it to the hand, uh, and if you do, special summon this card in defense position, but banish this card when it leaves the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add one Loonlight spell or trap from your deck to your hand, only use the effect once per turn. So this is actually really, really good, because the new um, Loonlight Fusion, I believe it is, is like Shadol Fusion. It's crazy good. Um, so being able to search that out is really, really good. Uh, Rough and Rail car. Triangle, XC Spark, where does that go, that one there, Black Rose Dragon, Loonlight Perfume, and Incarnated Machine Angel, I'm looking like Loonlights, there we go, uh, your Cyber Angel Ritual Monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, when you take damage by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can treat one Cyber Angel Ritual Monster from your hand or field, especially on one uh, Cyber Angel Ritual Monster from your hand, treat it as a Ritual Summon, you can only use the effect of Incarnated Machine Angel once per turn, so it's a nice kind of continual ritual spell in a sense but you know it means that you have to um, take damage by battle or an opponent's card effect so that's kind of a bit of a meh uh, Black Garden, Ritual Sanctuary, Cyber, Angel, uh, Cyber Petite Angel, Special Schedule and Cyber Egg Angel that's another nice so we've got two of those can't probably play three maybe two would be enough uh, Blue Rose Dragon Getting these all mixed up now. There we go, that one goes there, that one goes there. Triangle SC, Cyber Angel Ben 10, nice reprint for everyone on that one. Witch of the Black Rose and Harpy Lady Elegance. This is the brand new Harpy Lady trap. So you have to shuffle a Harpy Lady sister from your monster zone into the deck. Then special summon three Harpy monsters with different original names, one each from your hand, deck, and graveyard. For the rest of the turn off this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except wind monsters. If this card you control is destroyed by a Harpy card's effect or your opponent's card effect, add one Harpy monster from your deck to your hand. Only use the effect once per turn. So it's a good card, but it's A, it's a trap, and B, it means you have to have Harpy Lady Sister and have a Harpy in hand and grave. So it's very, very specific. It's not like, especially on an up to three, because then that would be really, really good. Lunalight Perfume, Harpy Lady Sister, Cyber Petite Angel, Lunalight Emerald Bird, and Cyber Angel Azana. This looks like it's going to be a Cyber Angel box. Uh, ritual summon this card with Machine Angel Ritual. If this card is Ritual Summoned, you can make your opponent send one spell or trap they control to the graveyard. Uh, when this attacking card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. You can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row. Um, just trying to. You can make. Uh, da, 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 da. You can activate this effect. Uh, this card can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, Targets a Cyber Angel Ritual Monster you control, quick effect, you shuffle one Ritual Monster from your graveyard into there, and if you do, destroy one card your opponent controls. So the fact that doesn't negate the target effect kind of sucks a little bit, but it doesn't say that that is only once per turn. I could be wrong, but I'm misreading the attack, but if it was attack, destroy, attack again, destroy, and it has to keep attacking in a row, could that technically clear a board? Anyway, it's okay. The fact that it doesn't negate, like if a Ritual Monster you control is targeted, it doesn't negate it, it just destroys one card in the field, kind of sucks a little bit. Anyway, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Snowplow, Twilight Rose Knight, Elegant Egotist, 
and Lunlight Yellow Martin. So we've still got technically four Ultras and I think we've seen two Supers, I think. So we'll go there, Cyber Angel Benton, Ritual Sanctuary. Lunlight Pavlot, that's another nice reprint because that was costing, uh, I think that went to like 10 quid for a deck that was hardly played because it was just hard to get. Uh, which of the Black Rose, Lunlight like Cat Dancer, Machine Angel Ritual, Black Garden, and uh, Magnificent Angel, um, Machine Angel, I told you. This is looking like a Cyber Angel uh, set, or Cyber Angel box, sorry. Uh, Lunar Light, Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady Sister, Lunar Light Cat Dancer, Harpy Lady Elegance. Still got five supers, I think. Five supers, four ultras. Clyder Chick, did that need a reprint, but anyway. N10, Egg, and Harpy's Featherstorm. <sighs> a great card. It needed a reprint, but a waste of a super print, in my opinion, purely because. You know, you've got it in Ultra. It definitely needed a reprint, so make it easier for everyone to get. Don't make it a super that could have been something else. It was like the last set when they made Chaos Dragon, a um, Blue Eyes Chaos Max, sorry. Uh, when they made that an Ultra, I thought that was a waste of a spot. Uh, Petite Angel and then Incarnated. Still, uh, four supers and three Ultras, I believe. Rough and Car, Collider Chick, Dark Rose, and... Allure and Mirror Split, so this is a good card as well. I'm going to try and speed this up, I don't want this video to take too long for you guys. When a Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters you can try to destroy a battle, you can special on one Harpy Monster from your deck with a different original name than the destroyed monster. If this card you control is destroyed by a Harpy's card effect or your opponent's card effect, type one Harpy Monster, um... So type one Harpy Monster in your graveyard, special summon it, only use the effect one. I did say to the guys when I saw the OCG one that this would definitely be sensitised. Um, so Harpy Queen... Uh, and Chandler uh, all have, so where you see the black on the Chandler and the light, light teal blue, uh, it's just skin in the um, OCG versions. I'll see if I can find the OCG printouts for you guys and show you in a bit. Anyway, continuing on, we still have two Ultras, I believe. Uh, Elegant Egotist, Blue Rose, sorry, three Ultras, Twilight Knight, Collider Chick, and Magnificent Alien Angel Ritual. Three Ultras and a couple of Supers. We'll know in a minute. I think I've got all 10 rares. Sisters, Blue Cat, Panther Dancer, Hunting Ground, and Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, just off Max. Um, again, not a bad card to get as a reprint. I just feel that in sets like this, once the, the rustling is going, I just feel that in sets like this, um, where Rare, Ultra, and Super are kind of like the high rarities in this set, a reprint shouldn't be that card, it shouldn't be one of the, the high rarity cards. Uh, Cat Dancer, Gustav Max, and Garden Rose Maiden. Now this looks stunning, it, it's a very, very beautiful card. Um, one tuner, one non-tuner, if this card is special summoned, you add one Black Garden from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can banish this card from the graveyard and target one Rose Dragon Monster, or one Dragon Synchro Monster in your graveyard, special summon it, only use the effect of um, Garden once per turn. So it's a nice card, beautiful card. Um, not busted by any means. Uh, so we've got two ultras left, uh, and I believe two or three supers left. So train, Benton, uh, Rose, and Bloomin' of the Darkest Rose. This would have been looked amazing as a super as an ultra. Special on Rose tokens um, in defense positions at either player's field, up to the combined number of cards in the field zones and field spells in the graveyard. If this card is in your graveyard, you can type one Black Rose Dragon or one Plant Monster in your monster zone, banish it, and if you do, place this card on the bottom of your deck. During the next standby phase, return that banished monster to the field, only use the effect once per turn. So it's a nice little effect, nothing amazing, but in the plant, uh, if you were to do it in a Black Rose, and just look at the artwork, like if this art was in foil, it would have looked like unbelievably stunning. Like Black Rose is probably one of the most beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh cards um, there, I'm not saying there aren't other beautiful ones, but Black Rose certainly pips quite a few of them. It is a very, very nice card. Uh, Red Rose Dragon. If this card is sent to the graveyard of Synchro Material, especially on one Rose Dragon Monster from your hand or deck, except itself, then if it was uh, sent for the Synchro Summon of a Black Rose Dragon or a Plant Synchro Monster, you can also add one Frozen Rose or one Blooming of the Darkest Rose from your deck to your hand. Only use the effect once per turn. I think the biggest disappointment in this set as well is we didn't get White Rose as an import, as far as I'm aware. Um, which would have helped the deck out quite a bit. We do get Jasmine in April, so uh, that's a plus. Mark of the Rose, Ruffle Car, or uh, there we go, Lunar Light Bird, and Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. So this is the first train one we got. If it is normal or special summon, you type one Earth Machine Monster in your graveyard, accept itself, special summon it in defense position, but negate its effects. 
Uh, you can target one other face up monster, you control the level of that monster, uh, or this card becomes the level of the other. You cannot declare attacks to turn you activate this effect, except with XYZ's monsters, you can only use the effect once per turn. So this is good, because it gets you into the brand new Ultra, which I hope you do pull, um, because literally the new Ultra is a 6k attack twice piercer, which is absolutely insane in trains, because you can make it quite easily. Uh, Hunting Ground, Petite Angel, Sovereign Dakini, uh, and Dark Rose Fairy, so that's our playset of that. I'm going to try and speed this up now because we're hitting, just gone past the 15 minute mark. Dancer, Express Knight, Cat, Lady, uh, Incarnated. Just going to skip to the, the back cards. Harpy's Feather Rest, uh, rest. yep, yeah, so that's a really, really good card as well. Cyber Angel, this is basically like the Gusto Emerald again, it's been sensitized a bit as well. Not surprising there. Target three Harpy Ladies and a Harpy Ladies uh, hand or Harpy Lady Sisters in your graveyard. Shuffle them into deck. Draw one card. If you control level five, a higher Harpy monster. When you activate this event, draw two cards instead. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters except wind monsters. Only activate one Harpy's Feather Rest per turn. So again, a good card. Nothing that you play at three. Uh, I really do want to see Oracle, at least or one Oracle and a perfume in this set or in the, out of this box, but you never know. Especially after re. Rearrange all these organisation later, it's kind of going out the window a little bit. Like I said I want to try and speed this up. There you go, there's the Oracle and there's the Blooming. Uh, so Oracle is if you could try a level 5 or higher late, uh, level 5 or higher Harpy monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one spell or trap from the graveyard to the hand. This specifically lists um, Harpy Lady Sisters in its text. During the end phase, so that's the downside of it, is it adds back during the end phase. Um, so if it added back in the normal phase, most of the Harpy spells are once per turn. I suppose like Elegant Egotist will be abused, um, but still. Leo Dancer and another Elegance. I think we've only got one of each left, so let's try and speed through these. Uh, Lunalight Fusion, great, that's what we wanted. Really, really cool card. Uh, fusion on one Lunar Light Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or filled as fusion material. If your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can also use one Lunar Light monster in your deck or extra deck as fusion materials, only use the effect once per turn. So it's nice to kind of skip up in levels because sometimes it struggled that it had to go through Dancer, into Panther, to Leo. Speaking of which, we are still missing uh, the other one as well. Oh, there's a Perfumer! Yes! Yeah, boy! So the Perfumer is the one we wanted. Um, perfume is a really, really cool card. I think this is going to be the hard one to get hold of. Purely because um, if, it, well, um, if it's normal or special summoned, you add a spell or trap from your deck that specifically lists Harpy Lady Sisters in its deck, so you add Egotist. If you try a level 5 or higher Harpy Monster, when you activate this effect, you can also add a second such card with a different name uh, from the first. So you can add two different uh, Harpy Lady cards, so really, really good to get that one as well. I think that's us done. There might be another super, which would be really, really cool to see. Um, another ultra would be great as well if we get a busted box in that way. Uh, I'd like to see the rail car, but, you know, I'm not really... I've got the one perfumer. I personally think that would be the harder one to get. The train might be a tough one to get as well, um, but you just never know. So another Loonlight bird there. I think we've got a playset of the rare birds. Um, keep it going. Loonlight dance, that's not bad. So we did get another super. Um, when a fusion monster or monsters is fusion summoned to your field, etc., in a damage state, target one of those monsters, apply this effect uh, in sequence. Special on one Lunar Light token um, to your opponent's field. That, tar uh, that target gains 500 attack for each monster your opponent controls. Even if this card leaves the field, so you'll be giving them a monster, so it will gain an extra 500. During your main phase, you can banish this card from the graveyard, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do special on one Lunar Light monster from your deck, you can only use the effect once per turn. It's okay, not great, but you know, not bad. Three packs left. Can we get an additional, additional card? Uh, another one of the blooming. Da 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 da. Another rose dragon, and our final pack is another rare. So there we go. So all in all, it's not. If you're a fan of these decks, then it's, it's obviously a, a, a very good set for you. Sorry guys. Uh, if you're not a fan of any of these sets, uh, any of these art types, sorry, don't touch it. Um, if you want to build any of these decks and don't have any of the cards for it, um, it's a great way to get you started and get, to get you the cards that you'll need um, to, to, to kind of go with it. I'm just trying to organise all the cards when I'm out, show you exactly what we got. So let me organise the Ultras. Ultras we did very, very well for the Harpies, which was great. So we got five Ultras and seven super. So for the Cyber Angels, we got these two here, which is really, really cool to get. I think they're the two new ones. Well, I know they're the two new ones, but they're still 
you know, really, really good ones. Uh, we've got two Harpies, Oracle, and the reprint of Featherstorm, which is a bit of a waste. Fine Pegasus, uh, Lunalight Fusion, Serenade Dance, and then we've got Perfume Art, Rest, Frozen, Split, and Maiden. So we're missing two Supers, which uh, I don't, I can't remember them off the top of my head. I believe they're, I think they're trains. They might be Cyber Angels, I could be wrong. Uh, and then the Ultras, we are missing the four Ultras that we're missing. Uh, all the trains, I think. Yes, yeah, so we've got two of those. We've got three harpies. We've got all the harpies, which is great. Um, so yeah. Sorry, it took a little bit longer than um, usual. That's just me reading out the card effects. Um, if you don't want to see the card effects, you can speed up a little bit further through the uh, through the opening and kind of go over them that way. We will be bringing you, or we have been bringing you, a couple of preview proxy deck profiles uh, just to kind of get ahead of the game. So we brought you trains um, earlier this week to kind of show you what we've got, uh, and then of course we'll bring you harpies, lunar lights. I will try to get a plant deck to, for you together. Um, I was talking to Chris, who knows plants a little bit better than I do, uh, and we couldn't really find a decent build yet, but I might try and make a pure kind of like rose deck uh, to use and abuse the new cards. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys. As always, happy dawning. What's up, YouTube? Dad here from Zephyr Wall Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're going to have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more. And as always, guys, happy dueling.